name is Omar. I'm here to introduce our Mac Captain Feeding Pop. This is our internal feeding bag from Mac Captain. This is actually our gun packaging that if you see is actually a sterile packaging. This is actually the back view and this is actually the front view. Okay. Okay. Now I will introduce on the clamp that used on the feeding pump whereby our clamp come with a special features whereby our clamp able to turn 360 degree whereby you can able to clamp on IV pole or even on a patient bed rail bracket or also you can able to fix on the table after I have opened the feeding bag from the package itself, now I will show you the parts, each every part of the feeding bag itself. First of all, the tubing size. The tubing length is actually 260 cm length and the tubing is actually wider whereby you can able to use thicker milk. And also our tubing is kink resistant whereby it does not bend easily. And then next is we do have the roller clamp that able to stop and flow the milk itself. Second is actually our transparent chamber whereby you can able to see the drip. And then the silicone tubing whereby you can able to put on the feeding pump rotate. And also we do have white pot whereby you can able to administrate medicine and also antibiotic via lower lock switch itself and we also the last is actually distal tip whereby you can able to fit to any feeding tube at any sizes okay now i would like to show our mat captain feeding pump this is actually our mat captain feeding pump and the weight of the pump is 1.2 kg and then it come with 4 inch led touch screen and the casing is actually robust casing whereby it's waterproof and you're able to wipe it using any disinfectant wipes and then it does have a door that do protect the chamber of the feeding pump and the feeding bag and also protect on the silicone tubing and then you can able to close the pump and at behind you can able to see there is an anti skid holder here whereby you can able to hold the thing and you does not slip from your hand and next that this particular machine is you can able to upgrade the software and also to download patient details via the rj2 port and also we do do have usb port to upgrade the software itself and then for another additional features itself we do have heater that you can able to heat the milk when delivered to the patient itself and the battery life for this particular feeding pump that you charge for four hours and the battery life will last for 22 hours now i will show it to you how to prepare the milk and also how to prepare the feeding bag using mm -hmm. our life capital feeding bag first of all we need to prepare the formulated milk that was suggested by the dietitian or also the doctor. Okay, next you need to lock the clamp first, then you need to insert the milk in the feeding bag itself based on the quantity given by the dietitian. Then you need to lock it. After it locked, you'll be able to see it's sealed tight. This means that it does not pour over. It's sealed tight. Then you can able to do the preparation. Okay, now I will show to you the priming process. First, you need to on the feeding pump. Then you need to open the door, and then you need to place the chamber accurately, whereby you need to push here. And then use the silicone tubing to pull it up and place at the hook. And then you can able to close the door. After the priming is done, it means that we already release all the air bubble in the tubing itself. Now, I will show to you how do we key in 
the relevant dosage that given by the dietitian to the patient. For example, the dietitian is given a dosage that 30 ml for per hour for the patient for the next three hours. This means that per hour is 30 ml, so three hours is 90 ml. When the alarm is triggered, it will show the possible details of errors that you receive. So you can able to troubleshoot based on the errors shown on the screen. What you can do is, first of all, you need to release the roller gland and then you need to press prime. 